Here's an arthroscopic image showing the inside of a dog's knee. If you hear someone say stifle instead of knee, don't worry. It's another name for the same joint. In this image, a metal probe's hooked around the cranial cruciate ligament. This ligament's also called the anterior cruciate ligament, or ACL. Cranial and anterior both mean near the front. The name cruciate refers to the fact that the ACL forms a cross shape with its partner, the PCL. We call the PCL a caudal cruciate ligament. This means near the back of the knee. We can simplify ACL injuries into two types. A partial tear means gradual fraying. This is a common form which often progresses to the second type, a complete tear. In dogs, the main cause of ACL injury is degeneration, not trauma. Many breeds have a high risk of degeneration coded into their genes. The trigger for gene expression isn't exercise. The most important trigger is excess body fat. Overweight dogs are four times more likely to injure an ACL in one or both knees. Lameness is caused by a combination of inflammation and knee instability. Pain can worsen if dogs develop a secondary injury. This structure's a meniscus. Every knee has a pair and together they're called menisci. Up to eight out of 10 dogs affected by ACL injury will tear a meniscus. This secondary injury can be very painful. If we operate, we can trim a torn meniscus. If we don't operate, a torn meniscus is a common source of ongoing pain. 